Hi, I'm Sandra Benjamin for Red Carpet Diary with our Toronto International Film Festival highlights. Perfect weather met a perfect storm of celebrity that hit Toronto at the beginning of the week. And the Red Carpet Diary team has never seen a red carpet that we didn't want to jump on, so we did to bring you this. I can't really afford to piss my mother off at the moment. <laughs> Why would she be pissed off? She likes me. Others. Oh, lovely. Thank you so much. Bless you, darling, for your generosity. Don't spend it all at once. Patrick White, Fred Skepsey, Charlotte Rampling, Judy Davis, you phone your agent and go, make sure I get this job. He's, he's a very sensitive um, director insofar as actors are concerned, and he just knows how to fine-tune you like an instrument, so you'll do it in a certain way, and then he'll just come and literally whisper in your ear and just say a little bit that and a little bit that and try this and try that. There's Berlin, there's Cannes, there's Venice, there's Toronto. And yes, this is a big marketplace festival, but every time I'm here, I'm so aware when I line up, I even line up for the rush tickets. I thought they were named after me. You really think that a girl's gonna go for me just because I have cancer? For the millionth time, yes! Great song. Totally. I have cancer. I was wrong, I was wrong. Nice it was, it was weird. It's yeah. weird like that. No, that's it's not, too it, it doesn't sound cool. No. Well, the story goes that Will Reiser, uh, he's the screenwriter, and he actually had cancer and survived it. Seth has been one of my best friends for a long time. Uh, you know, six years ago when I had cancer, he went through this with, you know, went through it with me. After I got better, he urged me to, to write about it. Our experience was very funny at times and very uplifting at times, and, and just not a lot of movies showed cancer like that. When you deal with something like this, a lot of times you have no choice but to laugh. The comedy to me comes from the honesty, uh, you know, sort of just letting these situations unfold. There's a scene where I'm changing uh, the dressing on his wound after he's had a surgical procedure and my character is disgusted by it. And that is literally like verbatim something that happened in real life. <laughs> that, that could have been written word for word based on what I said, I think. Tell me about your husband. He's dead. Hmm. Let's not talk about my husband. Ethan Hawke stars as an American novelist who travels to Paris. Upon his arrival, he falls for a captivating woman, played by Kristen Scott Thomas. Usually when you see a movie, you kind of you think you've seen it before. Whereas this one was for me a kind of journey of discovery. Pavel Pavlovsky told me about this book that he was thinking about making a movie of. And, uh, and I went home and I watched about three or four of his movies. I was blown away. And I didn't care what the script was, I wanted to do it. There was only one actor I wanted for the lead, which was Ethan, and there was only one actress I wanted for, for the other lead, which was Kristen. So as soon as they said yes, I knew I had a, a film. There was once upon a time, a town not far from a big city. It was at this time that a third string writer of popular fiction named Hall Baltimore drove in his book signing tour of another of his series of novels about witchcraft. He's fallen on hard times, my writer character. He's made money doing witch stories, yeah. and now he's gotten into a little vampire idea. It's a very peculiar film, it's a little wacky, but it, and, and it's, it's funny. I think, but it also is very uh, beautiful, and I'm anxious to see how it all turned out. Yeah. Hey, wow, who's this? Hey, look, you got who's this skinny guy? <laughs> I feel like I'm just beginning. Really, really excited about new ideas. Just like Francis. Francis just starting. Yeah. Seventy, something. What are you thinking about? King and emperor prepares to publicly renounce his throne for the woman he loved. What it must feel like to be loved that much. And what is your definition of love? He gave up everything for her. Toronto has gone absolutely crazy for the one and only Madonna. What did you learn from your cast? Oh my gosh, so many things. I mean, every day working with different actors, everybody has a different process. Some like a lot more structure and a lot more direction. Other, pe other actors like to be more free. Um, but I like to give my actors as much information as possible so that they can go off and do what they want with that information. You all know I grew up in Detroit, Michigan, so I feel like I'm practically Canadian. But I've always appreciated um, 
and felt uh, the warm welcome of Canadians whenever I come here. Thanks for watching. There's much more to come tomorrow on Red Carpet Diary TIFF Highlights. And remember to follow us on Twitter at Red Carpet Diary or like us on Facebook for all the latest updates on the most comprehensive coverage of the Toronto International Film Festival. Wow.